Bullshit is the glue that binds us as a nation. Where would we be without our safe, familiar American bullshit? Land of the free, home of the brave, the American dream. All men are equal, justice is blind, the press is free, your vote counts. <laughs> Business is honest, the good guys win, the police are on your side. God is watching you, your standard of living will never decline, and everything is going to be just fine. The official national bullshit story. I call it the American okie doke. Everyone, every one of those items is provably untrue at one level or another, but we believe them because they're pounded into our heads from the time we're children. That's what they do with that kind of thing. Pounded into the heads of kids because they know the children are much too young to be able to muster an intellectual defense against a sophisticated idea like that. And they know that up to a certain age, children believe everything their parents tell them. And as a result, they never learn to question things. Nobody questions things in this country anymore. Nobody questions anything. Everybody's too fat and happy. Everybody's got a cell phone that'll make pancakes and rub their balls now. Right? Way too fucking prosperous for our own good. Way too fucking prosperous. Americans have been bought off in silence by toys and gizmos. And no one learns to question things. You remember? You remember? Okay. Now, okay. You remember Barbara Bush? I call her the silver douchebag. You remember her? Okay. Barbara Bush. She is the mother of Governor George Bush. I call him Governor Bush because that's the only elected office he ever held legally in our country. Okay? George Bush, Governor Bush. Yeah. I don't care where they hang his portrait. I don't care how big his library is. He'll always be Governor Bush. I don't even capitalize his name when I type it anymore. So she's the mother of Governor George Bush. She's also the wife of his father, George H.W. Bush, who did become president in the normal, legal, traditional manner. And when he did, she came along for the ride as first lady. And that's been the tradition up till now. A man has been elected, and the woman has come along for the ride as the first lady. And usually, as in American life in general, the woman is condescended to, patronized, given something to do to keep her busy. A lot of times they give her a charity or a cause, something she can champion. Betty Ford was told to drink, remember that? Yeah. Yeah, that, that was that was Betty Ford's assignment. Betty, you get drunk and get totally fallen down, fucked up, shit face drunk, okay? You just get fucked up drunk, and we'll hose you down, baby. We'll hose you down. We'll put you in a facility, you'll get sober, and then we'll put your name in the facility, lights and Manelli can get sober, and everything's gonna be okay, right? That was her assignment. Barbara Bush's assignment was getting children to read. Remember that? Getting children to read. They figured she had had so much success with George. that she would be a natural to get children to read, which misses the point completely. Not important to get children to read. Children who want to read are going to read. Kids who want to learn to read are going to learn to read. Much more important to teach children to question what they read. Children should be taught to question everything, to question everything they read, everything they hear. Children should be taught to question authority. Parents never teach their children to question authority because Parents are authority figures themselves and they don't want to undermine their own bullshit inside the household. So they stroke the kid and the kid strokes them and they all stroke each other and they all grow up all fucked up and they come to shows like this.